Yeah, thanks to uh, the Big Game Butcher, uh, Denton Johnson. He supplies me with lots of bait. Get this out to our wolf bait stations, but this uh, all the small stuff here is perfect for our Martin boxes. So thank you, Denton. All right, this is a fantastic day. We've got lots of snow on the ground. It's still early, mid-November. Uh, we're getting a few more wolf snares set up, a few more bait stations going. And uh, there's some old bait that uh, wolves and coyotes have drug over to this spot, but uh, got a snare right under here. Looks, uh, looks pretty good. Nice potential trails through here where they have been wandering around. Pacers in here marking territory. It's always good. Uh, he tends to go to the bathroom quite a bit where the wolves and coyotes have been. Got a, another snare in here. I just put up. Got a Martin box that I've got to put some bait in set up a couple snares under these logs and uh last week this these are nice big wolf tracks went underneath that kind of tricky to put a snare under there but i could put one there got uh two wolves last year last couple years in that exact spot it's there got the snare set up there and then uh, this one again last week there was fresh wolf tracks going right through there so just put a snare up there now maybe adjust that a little bit better just so they don't uh, hit the side of that and I just threw some bait under here We'll bring in a bit more in this area. These are all wolf tracks. No shortage of wolves around here. Wolf. You got a wolf. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and we got another one here. The two wolves. One location, these guys are taking it out. First time, two wolves in one spot. It's good. There's only two snares in here. Yeah, so that that was so that's that spot in there with all those uh trees and that, they just get themselves all wound up so it just speeds up the process. Yeah. Yeah, you guys just yeah, just lay it down and then uh, let's do this. Here, watch out, Ryan. And um, better do her. Yeah, you should take it off. Yeah. I'm sure you're welcome to use tobacco yeah. to offer to the creator for thanking him for the the gift of the wolf and uh, for the spirit of the the wolf. It's also providing a teaching for all of us and the and the kids. And so we're. Our gesture is some tobacco, and you can say it, you know, I say some things out loud, and sometimes I say it within my heart, and then it's the gesture of the tobacco. Put it on the Yes, you can. You can put it on the ground. You can put it on the ground. If, would you like some? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. High five. Thank you. I have lots of good teachings. Yeah. That was fantastic. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Alrighty. So if you guys want to take that one out. So you know what? I wonder, Jalen, if this uh, was here two days ago when we came by, we didn't stop here. Cause I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm thinking because that one because the body heat melted the snow right to the Although ground. it's still pretty soft, like it's, it's not frozen. So yeah. I bet you maybe not. Yeah. Maybe that was just today. Okay. Here we go, two wolves, one shot. Awesome. 
Okay, these guys are taking them out. Doreen. Uh, <laughs> Can we get it? Yep. It's all you. My handy helpers. These are my two students that started back in grade eight. Now grade 11. I think the longest running croppers. Rain and Jalen. 